Hello and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial and showcase video by me Foxy No Tail. And before I go on, if you've clicked this video thinking I'm going to be showcasing an application that allows you to change what version of Minecraft you're playing, like jumping in and out of the betas without having to enroll, then that's not this video. That video is coming very soon. What we're going to be talking about today is profiles and if you don't know what profiles are, Basically, they allow you to have different versions of all of your files and worlds. Let's uh, look at this folder for a second behind me, and you can see I've got four folders inside there. New, Foxy, Beta, and Truly Bedrock Season 1, and if I click on one of those, you'll see what might look like a common sight to you if you have ever fiddled with Minecraft Bedrock Edition on Windows 10 before. If you have not fiddled with Minecraft, if you've not fiddled with Minecraft for the Windows 10 version before, then you won't know that inside your local packages folder you can find all of your worlds and skins and behavior packs and resource packs and all that sort of stuff hide in here in this com.moyang folder. This, if you like, is your profile. It's got all of the settings for the games, your graphic settings and how everything's set up. It's got all of your worlds in there. It's got your behavior packs that you've got installed. It's got your skin packs. It's got your resource packs and it's got some other bits and bobs in there as well. So why do we need multiple profiles? Well, the reason it's good to have multiple profiles is at least if you've got one, that saves them all getting deleted. Let's say for whatever reason you're having a few issues with your Minecraft installation or you've decided to opt out of the beta and go back to the normal one. When you do that, you have to uninstall Minecraft, which deletes all of this. So you lose all of your behavior packs, you lose your resource packs, you lose your worlds, your skin packs, the lot if you haven't backed it up. So by having separate profiles, which can be stored somewhere else, you don't have to worry about those things being deleted when you uninstall Minecraft for whatever reason. The other advantage of this is it means that we can set up different profiles for different things. For instance, our default profile, which is in the list, is always there. That links back to this one. So if we launch our Minecraft game with the default profile, it's going to launch, for me, a completely empty thing with no settings or anything like that in there because I haven't added any to this profile. However, if we come out of Minecraft and we launch our profile launcher again and I change to my Foxy profile, you will see that it's going to launch a completely different profile. All of my graphic settings are different and I've got all my skin packs and resource packs for different things. So when we log in, you're going to see it's going to change me to me. If we go to my world, you'll see I've got my worlds in there. I've got my servers set up. And if we go to settings, you'll see that in here I've got all of my resource packs and behavior packs and things like that in there as well. And you'll see I've also got a resource pack active on this one. So Let's close that for a second and let's launch this again and go to my beta profile and we launch that. That's going to launch in what looks like exactly the same thing, but if we go into our world you'll see I've only got my beta worlds in there, I don't have any servers listed and if I go to settings you'll see that my global resources are a lot different and I've got an active one which is the beta text remover. so that's already active on this profile, I don't have to activate it and deactivate it. Likewise, if we open it again and I go to my Truly Bedrock Season 1 profile and launch that, you'll see this time when I log in and go to play that I've got my Truly Bedrock Season 1 world downloads in my servers list. I've got my Truly Bedrock servers that I can connect to. And if we go to the global resources, you'll see that I've got my Truly Bedrock resource packs in here as well. And I don't have one of those active at the moment, but if I decide to activate one, such as that one there, and come out of that, when I launch that profile again, that will still be there, but it won't be there if I launch a different profile. Just check that. Let's go to settings, global resources and active. You'll see that's still there. And let's launch my Foxy profile and go to settings and global resources and you'll see it's not there. So all of the profiles are completely separate. They're all in these folders here and you can have these folders wherever on your computer you want. They don't need to be on your C drive. They don't need to be within the Minecraft folder. They can be absolutely everywhere, which means as well, if you've got a lot of worlds like I have, they're not going to be taking up valuable space on your boot drive. They could be somewhere else completely, which is absolutely great. So how do you get this? How does it work? And what do you do? Let's start at the beginning. If you head over to foxynotel.com, you will see on the homepage there is a big downloads page button. If you click on that and go to handy tools, you will see that we have a brand new link down here that says MCBE profiles and there is a download button there. All you need to do is download that. So let's download that to our downloads folder. 
Then once you've downloaded that zip file, if you then extract it to the downloads folder, that's going to give you a folder called MCBE Profile 0.1.2 is the version we're currently on. And then you can copy that anywhere you want. So I'm going to hit cut up there, which will cut that. And I'm going to go to my D drive and I'm going to hit paste. And that's going to paste that in there. And now I can open that up. And if I click on profiles, you will see that it loads up with the default one and it also gives us one called new now the new one is completely empty if we launch this with the new profile the game will be completely empty but you'll see that the information gets loaded in there so how do you start adding all of your worlds and resource packs and things like that well the easiest way to do that is to find a pack that you want to install double click it and that will import it and because you're loaded into that profile that will import directly into the profile that you're currently on so you can see that's gone into this new profile that i've got if i create a world in this new profile it's going to create it in that folder there now if i want to use worlds that i've already got elsewhere if i go to one of my other profiles let's go to my foxy profile i can copy all of this and paste it or i could just take an individual world from there let's take this world Let's pop it in our new profile on here and then let's launch the launcher again. And you'll see that when we load up our new profile, we will have our world in there, which is absolutely great. Then we can come in into the settings and change all of the settings that we like. We can turn the music off. We can change our video settings so it's the way that we want it. We can put our GUI scale down and all sort of stuff like that. And that will all get remembered on this particular profile if we want another profile all we've got to do is hit new folder type whatever you want in there as a profile name like test profile and then if you launch this it's going to look it's going to find that folder because there's nothing in it when we launch the game see that test profile starts getting all of the data put directly into it as minecraft loads up with a completely blank clean new slate so in this program itself that is a check for updates button if there is a new update available it will give you a download link to that and it also has a help button which loads up this readme file in a handy little window like that so you can read through how it all works what you do need to bear in mind in this is that this uses administrative privileges because what it's effectively doing is each time that you load a new profile it's taking that profile and it's creating a link to that profile where your normal com.moyang folder is so what it's doing is it's renaming your normal one this is your default one it's renaming it to dot default and it's creating what's called a symbolic link from there to there now the reason we need administrative privileges is first of all to be able to rename these and move them and the second reason is minecraft has some really nifty permissions things that stops it looking outside of these folders for other files so another thing this program does is some nifty permission stuff that it can only do with administrative privileges to allow minecraft to see inside these folders instead so th and that's basically it now i know most people will be looking for this minecraft switcher which not only allows you to change your profile but also allow you to pick what version of minecraft you're playing you're gonna have to wait a little while for that one maybe a couple of days because as much as it's ready and working for instance i can load up the standard version of minecraft like so there we go minecraft 1.14.6 i can also with this one load up the beta just like that and uh, this is where it becomes quite important to have different profiles because when you're running the beta you don't want to be opening up your normal worlds because then when you come out of the beta you're not going to be able to play them in this stable release so by splitting everything up between the different versions and having different profiles you can keep everything nice and clean and separate and safe anyway we're getting well ahead of ourselves with that one let's go back to our little profile switcher which is probably going to be a lot more suitable for a lot more people because the version switcher is very very technical and quite difficult to set up so yeah if you're interested in switching to different profiles and keeping your data nice and clean and separated so that you can have different ver versions then make sure to head over to foxynotel.com and click that download button anyway that's enough from me i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please do leave a like if you haven't already please do subscribe and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye